The Night Sky Guy, very uh, comfortable and familiar, this feature on a Friday. Andrew, welcome back. And we're going to talk about familiar and comfortable sights in the night sky as well. That's right, Suzanne. Thanks for having me. Great Friday to you, too. Uh, it's, it's a, you know, this weekend, uh, if you've got clear skies, actually, it all, you know, January and February are times when uh, you get to see a lot of twinkling stars in the night sky, and it's, it's not by accident. Winter has a, a chock full number of bright stars, and the brightest member uh, probably that catches people's eye is called Betelgeuse. It's actually the lead star in the constellation Orion. It's one of the one of the most easily recognized uh, group of stars. You just look for three stars in a row, three stars uh, that are all lined up uh, in a row in the southern sky in the evening, all across the night uh, towards the southern horizon. And uh, just to the upper left of that is a very bright orange colored star in, the, in this constellation Orion, the mythical hunter. And that is Betelgeuse. And Betelgeuse is just uh, one of the m biggest monster stars that we know of. It sits about 500 light years away from us, and uh, it's, it's, it's the ninth brightest star, actually, in the entire night sky, so you can't miss it. And, yeah, uh, I, I, would, I say familiar and comfortable, Andrew, because, you know, people like to be able to identify things. You know, it's, there's some comfort in that. The Big Dipper, of course, is in the summertime, but Orion is, is kind of your classic winter constellation, isn't it? It is. It's a landmark, and uh, right, you know, it, it's up there with the Big Dipper as a pattern of stars that's so easily recognizable by people. And so, uh, it's and and what's cool is if you know a little bit about it, the fact that it's 500 light years away, it's a monster star, it's a dying star. It's called a red giant. I mean, if it would be in our solar system, uh, it would uh, it would re its its edge of the star would reach out to the orbit of Jupiter. And so it's, it's amazing. And, and they've actually taken a picture just this week of, of Betelgeuse uh, through a number of telescopes, and they've actually identified convection uh, that's happening on the atmosphere of this star. So is it's a, pretty Is a weather forecast for Betelgeuse next, one wonders. <laughs> exactly. We're coming there. We're getting there very soon. It's a powerhouse of a star. Tell us how much energy it has compared to our sun. Well, you know, it has it, 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 it's really a monster because it can output over 60,000 times more, uh, le, uh, more energy than, than our, our own sun intrinsically. And in, the astronomers think that in the matter of a thousand years, in fact, it'll die. And it'll die in a supernova explosion, which will make it brighter than the full moon in the evenings. We have about a thousand years, we think. It's amazing. We learn more every day, don't we, about the universe beyond us. And you share it with us every Friday. Happy to have you again, Andrew. Well, clear skies. Thanks very much. The nightguyguy.com. We'll talk to Andrew Fizikas again next week. Find out more at his website.